Hello, welcome to Math 45 in the summer of 2020. My name is Mr. Heron. I want to give you a little bit of information about our course off the bat here. First, for this course, you're going to be required to have a computer, a desktop or a laptop with a webcam because the exams for security will be taken with a video. So you'll be videoed during the exams just to make sure everything's on the up and up. So that is required to have a webcam. Laptops usually come with one already. If you don't have one on your main computer, you could borrow a friend's computer during the exams. All the rest of the course material, the homework and everything else you can do on a computer without a, without a webcam. But just for our seven exams, you'll need to have a webcam. So um, make sure you have access to that. Number two, you also need a scientific calculator. So in, really any calculator will be fine for this course. Next, you're also um, gonna have regular homework. Our first homework assignment will be due Wednesday of this first week. And our first exam is actually Saturday, right away, of this first week. So things are gonna move pretty quickly. We have seven exams in this course and uh, six weeks that our course lasts. So we're having more than one exam per week. About every five days or six days, we'll take an exam. We'll have homework due about every two days. You'll have a homework assignment with 15 questions due every two days. Summer's pretty intense because it's six weeks and the normal semester is 18 weeks. So we're going triple speed. So we move pretty quickly. But uh, let me provide some, having given kind of the bad news, let me, let me provide the good news. I have made videos, either I or another gentleman, have made videos on every homework problem. I've attached them to each homework problem. I'll show you where those are in another video. I'll show you exactly where those links are. So every homework problem, you will have my video help or another gentleman showing you exactly how to solve that type of problem. And the exams will end up just being those very same questions. The homework questions will become exam questions. So you'll have the video help you need. In addition, I'm going to be available through some office hours on Zoom. I'll post those um, in another link. And so it's basically Monday through Thursday, 10 to 11 in the morning and eight, uh, 7 to 8 in the evening. And then Friday morning, again, 10 to 11, and Sunday night, same thing, um, 7 to 8 p.m. So I'll try to hit the morning and evening for you guys. In addition, I'm going to give out my cell phone. It's, it's on the syllabus. It's in some of the other links. So you can text me and set up another time to meet with me on Zoom. I'm glad to do that. Through Zoom, I can share my screen, show you exactly how to solve the problems, talk you through it. So the, that's the help I'll have available for you. And um, as I said, it's, it's an intense, fast-moving class, so, so you'll need that help. So I hope you'll, you'll jump right in and uh, you, you can make it through this class. You can do quite well because of all the video help that is provided. Everything is shown very clearly, and I, I aim to not surprise you. I'm trying to be super clear and not surprise you. My exams will be just like those homework questions, and those homework questions have videos showing you exactly how to do them. So I'm trying to give you everything you need to succeed. Let me uh, just mention what we're, what we're studying real quick. This is called contemporary math. What, what it is is we're going to cover math and how it's used in society in general currently. For example, we'll talk about how can math help us vote better, meaning how can we make decisions through our voting? How can math help us make better decisions through our voting? as far as who has the power. And, 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 and another section we'll talk about is called weighted voting, power structures. Who has power? How can you use math to figure out who has power in a weighted voting structure? We're going to talk about fair division in chapter three. How, what's, what's a fair way to divide things up in society? It's a real regular part of society. Inheritances and land and all kinds of things we divide up in society. How can we, how can math help us to do that fairly. How is math being used currently in society to help us divide things more fairly? Chapter four is about graphs. Graphing is important for companies like Amazon who seem to be taking over the world. How does Amazon deliver their products 
to a bunch of cities with airlines and other things in the most efficient way possible? Can they plan a route that will save them time and visit all the cities in the best way, most efficient way? So they save the most time and money. That's big dollars to companies like Amazon and also the the um, the street cleaners and and people like that that need to um, go cover every street in an area. How can they do that most efficiently? That's chapter four. How's math used in the real world for, for graph planning? Number five is probability and statistics. That's my favorite chapter. Probably we're going to talk about how can we make wise decisions about how we consume information. We're in the information age and information is pouring at us. That chapter will help us use mathematical thinking to realize when somebody's lying to us with statistics, how do we discern right statistical information versus that's information that's misleading. There's a lot of statistical information in the news that's misleading. Math can help us interpret that well. Sixth chapter is more statistics, but it's statistics where you learn terms like percentile. What does that mean? If you're gonna become a professional, you're gonna hear those terms, standard deviation. What, is, what does that mean? What is that exactly? What is median? What kind of an average is that? We're gonna learn about those terms and how to understand uh, professional talk in statistics language. And our last chapter, chapter seven, is growth in finance. We're gonna talk about how do things change over time? How do they grow over time? You've heard of exponential growth. The news talks about that. You know, the COVID virus is spreading exponentially. This is happening. What, what does that mean exactly? What is linear growth? What kind of things grow linearly or exponentially? What, do you, what can we predict? What can we use to predict them mathematically? And then also finance. How can you deal with loans and how can you invest in the future and use mathematics to predict the growth over time? So I'm hoping this class will be enjoyable. It's one of my favorite classes. Most students find it's very practical. We're not just gonna be moving around X's all the time. Like in so many algebra classes, we won't heart, we'll see a few X's, but not many. Most of what we do is gonna be very real world and we'll be seeing things that are currently done with mathematics that professionals use. And I think and most students tell me they really enjoy the applicability, the real nature of this contemporary mathematics course. All right, well, welcome again to Math 45 in the summer of 2020. Let me encourage you to make sure you watch that next video, which is notes quizzes. So I'm gonna have this thing called notes quizzes because I want you to organize your notes so that you succeed in this class. So I'm gonna specifically go over that, watch that next video, notes, quizzes, and please reach out to me. I'm anxious to help you this semester through my Zoom office hours, and I'm going to give you my personal cell phone so you can contact me to set up individual Zoom hours to help you as well. You can definitely succeed in this class if you put in the time. Watch those videos, connect with me. You should be able to make it through, and I, and I hope you'll even enjoy it. This may be, I know, the last math class in your college career for many of you, so I want to help you over this hump. And, and hopefully leave a good taste in your mouth where you enjoyed math and you saw how it can be useful and um, successful in your life. All right, welcome, welcome to our course.